missile guidance systems can kind of, um, like, they use Doppler radar to locate a, a target. Mm. And then we use a, a two-inch uh, laser to actually lock on. And I've recently observed, like, we were out at, out at sea and the target was 27 miles away, which is about... I mean, 27 nautical miles, which is about 31 miles. Is that correct? Right about that. Um, like, that, that actually needs line of sight to actually work, like, but with the kind of the curvature of the Earth formula, like, at 8 inches per mile squared. Is that correct? So what is the it's, drop in the curve of the Earth for each mile that you each, go across, a nautical mile? How much do you drop? Well, it 8 inches per mile squared. Oh, not nautical mile, but I worked out to it. Eight per mile, so inches. at 31... 31 miles, it should be yeah, 8 inches per mile squared, which is 100 and, I think it works out 195 metres, it should be the drop that oh. we're picking up we, we pick up the target with the um, the Doppler radar and the laser, and also the thermal imaging, like that kind of needs line of sight too, so I'm just kind of baffled how those systems can work when you need line of sight at that distance. Okay, so presumably you've got a high antenna so that you can then look around the curve of the Earth. The other formula is the famous one, two, three rule, which is that the distance to the horizon measured in ordinary miles, sorry about the units, is 1.23 multiplied by the height of the observer's eyes above sea level, the height being in feet. So if you're 16 feet, if your eyes are 16 feet above sea level, the square root of 16 is 4. 4 by 1.23 is about 6. 6 miles. 6 miles is about 10 kilometres. So okay. presumably you've got a high tower on the ship so you can peek over the curve of the horizon. Hey, thanks for the call, Mitchell. Thank you. Thanks, mate.